This week, hundreds of victims and survivors of Union Carbide's gas leak in central India's Bhopal city protested in New Delhi, demanding justice from President Barack Obama. The Bhopal gas tragedy happened in 1984, when toxic gas was released from a Union Carbide pesticide plant in Bhopal, killing about 15,000 people and leaving millions sick. The victims said they were unhappy with the Indian government for not taking action against the American companies responsible and accused President Obama of adopting double standards on industrial disasters. Referring to the $20 billion compensation given by British Petroleum after the Gulf of Mexico oil rig explosion in April and the subsequent spill, a volunteer of a non-government organization working for the Bhopal gas leak victims compared the amount to the $470 million that had been given them as compensation. We've come to tell him that this double standard must stop, that he has extracted $20 billion from British Petroleum. And here, Union Carbide Corporation, after committing the world's worst industrial disaster, has gone away after just paying $470 million. Earlier in the year, a local court had convicted Kashub Mahindra, the then chairman of Union Carbide Corporation India, and seven others in the case, and sentenced them to two years imprisonment 25 years after the incident. Union Carbide was bought over by Dow Chemicals in 1999, but Dow denies responsibility, saying it took over the firm years after Union Carbide settled its liabilities to the Indian government in 1989 by paying $470 million and after it sold off its local arm. Obama's visit also provoked separate protests against the United States for being an empire. Holding placards reading U.S. imperialists down down, protesters shouted slogans against Obama as being the chieftain of imperialism and demanded that he leave the country. Barack Obama ko jis se the manner in which Indian government has invited U.S. President Barack Obama to our country is shameful. We see no change of policy in Barack Obama's governance from that of Clinton and Bush's governance, during which America attacked Iraq and Afghanistan.